swearing to sound microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Show business person. Oh, really? So you, 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 yeah, you, you know I adore you, you, you my style. Okay. okay. You are the man that built, literally built this facility. Yes, I am. And I can't believe how fantastic it is. I've always said, oh my God, I would never want to have to live in an old age home. And I'm here for three hours and I don't want to leave. It's absolutely fantastic. You were just showing me this is the computer room. Tell me what happened here. Uh, this is our computer room right. donated by Comcast Corporation, Comcast mm -hmm. NBC Universal, uh -huh. uh, and because they felt, as I did, that our seniors had to be connected to the world. Here, here. And we also offer, if they wish, lessons in how to use the equipment. Wow. They're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Wow. They can come down in the middle of the night and practice if they wish on their own. Oh. Or we'll get teachers for them, whatever they need. And, and this was all you have. What percent of the elders here are computer literate? Because I've always told friends, the biggest thing you can do in your life is get connected know. through more the internet. More and more all the time. I would probably say half when we started and it's increasing every day. Good. Because like everything else in the building, we help each other. We have a great responsibility here because right. something so important has happened here. Right. And the project that has happened here needs to roll across this country like rolling thunder. And it's not only and for... keep happening. And by the way, it's not an old folks home. It's a vintage veranda. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's not just what people don't realize is that single seniors, the majority of them, are heterosexual because women outlive their husbands. So we need to have facilities for well, older place, people. Well, no, 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 no. This place is primarily for LGBT people because LGBT people have been left out of those other senior buildings. Right. And we wanted a place where they could be safe and dignified and live their lives right. in the manner of which they deserve to live it. Because this is the community they help create and they should be in their own community. I couldn't agree with you more, but the fact of the matter is our society has That's to for other people to fight, for not enough gay people have to fight for gay people. For, no, for aging people, aging people of all genders and all varieties to fight to make sure that when people grow old, and they have facilities like this to come to, regardless of whatever their orientation is. Yes, there are other communities that build these for other communities. We Absolutely. built this specifically for the LGBT community. And now, on the other hand, we, not do have, the no, 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 no. we do have other people living here that are not from the LGBT I community. I know that. Because we do not discriminate. Right, right. I bet you... The, I, I bet you I can guess the people that built them. I bet you the Jews did it. I bet you the Quakers did it. Name me there. There's certain groups every that Every single group. Up. Presbyterians. Really? The blacks. Every group but us. Really? We were the last to do this. Even African Americans have done it? Lots of them, yes. Oh, I didn't know right. that. Yes. See, well, I don't know much about old age homes because I'm only 77 years old, right. so I'm not eligible yet. Did you, did you film our <laughs> courtyard? Yeah, I, I, yeah, you can show me the courtyard. I think, I think we had a little bit of help from the Lesbians. <laughs> Are they somehow related to the Unitarians? I think so. I always love the Unitarians. No, I think they're all vegetarians. <laughs> now, this is Elizabeth's pride and joy. Wow. And they... they. This is the largest private courtyard in all of Center City, Philadelphia. Wow. And you'll notice it has benches, you'll notice there's a fountain. Right. that little love net. Where? In the, in, the, in the corner over there. Is that a, oh, that's a love bench? Well, I call it a love bench. Uh-huh. But how, how do you, how do you settle arguments between the gardeners as to whether and they're going to have wild problem. roses I'm or... You know, you need a moon garden. Did you, know you know what a moon flowers? garden is? These, All white flowers. These, right here we have white uh, limelight hydrangeas. Yes. And on those two trellises we have white moon flowers. Oh. Have you ever, you've seen a moon garden. They, at night <laughs> yes, they I stand love. out like they're, on, they're alive. You can't see the and other flowers. It's all the rage in Victorian times. Oh. They love moon gardens. Wow, this is just beautiful. And you, how are you? How did you get involved with this? Well, I, 
You a gardener is harder. Oh, a bit. I bit. When I lived in the Midwest, they had a very large garden. My lover I, had a garden when he was dying, and it was just magical. When I came back, I brought a few plants with me. Oh. But I was lucky enough to have Mark and Micah and Franny Price and a lot of people in the community to look after me. It's a lot of work. I logged in 50 oh, pound lot, bags of soil and there everything. There are a lot of people who help. It's, it's really not my space. It's a I understand it's a, it's that. A, you can a, see. It's a, it's, a gr it's a group space. You can see. It's beautiful. It, re it really is. Because you got to watch certain plants. We had wild white roses that grew on a trellis, mm -hmm. and they would pop up 15 feet away. Oh, yeah. You couldn't keep them under control. Certain plants tend to take over. What are the plants? Are there any plants here that tend to take over that way? Uh, we were always... That, 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 that ground cover, that vinca, oh, that my grandmother called it periwinkles. Oh, really? And this gets blue flowers, and it'll kind of take over. We have to be careful with this. But in general, it's... Periwinkles. Aren't, I thought they were... They're little they, blue flowers. I thought... What are the ones that are... They, they're different colors that they bloom in the shade. They do well in the shade, so you put them around. Impatience. Yes, yes, yes. These are impatience. Oh. And, and it is shady enough. And look at the styling and the, uh, the... I mean, the, even the way the rocks are laid out. Oh, we have fun. That's wonderful. We have fun. And how many residents live here? We have 56 one-bedroom apartments. Wow. The gentleman who lives with his mom, he lives in a small place with her. A one-bedroom apartment. Yeah. And he can have a roommate. You can have a roommate if you want it. Uh, yeah, there are, there are various Exceptions. Parameters. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any couples? Yes, yes. Um, Frank, who's been doing a lot of the, the work in there. Yeah. He, uh, uh, he, he, uh, and his husband, Michael, yeah. Live live together and there are there are a few others. That's wonderful. It is wonderful. It's important. It is, it is. Because where else would they have it's to go? It's important to be able to do it openly. Yes. Right? And to have people that understand your lives. Right. And also it's lonely, you know, being you know, can I know. Alone, so I mean, I really feel right at home here, like meeting you. I mean right. you right. have right. so right. much yeah. in common I'm with saying to Randy, this is a perfect place. I'd want to be here as an older person. You know, Everybody I think there's a, would there's be. There's a rule, like you have to be over 60 years old, probably? Yeah. I don't know what the number is, but it's some number. Well, I snuck in. You're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> so the point I'm making is, you know, if you meet the meet the guidelines, it's a perfect place to live. Yeah. Like everything else, it's a work in progress. Like right. Something. Yeah, because I know? can see that there's a lot of... And it's an idea that can take root and spread. And it needs to do it just that. It needs to do but just that. But because of that, it's incumbent upon us to be an example. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. I look at that, there was a rainbow room in there. A yeah. You see, that's amazing. Right. It, it really that, is. It really is amazing and wonderful. And I mean, Steve, but I also know that there's people who don't get along so well. But that's all part of life, too. Right. Even if people don't get along, the bottom line, at the bare minimum, is... Civility. Right. Right. Common courtesy. Right. That's that, all it right. is. Hi, Micah. Hi. Thanks for the space. We've got the one more thing, which is the uh, WHYY interview. Yeah. It's not actually the WHYY interview, it's the documentary interview, but they're filming there. Uh huh. Uh, so you're going on, they're going to start you at 6. At 6. So I'm just going to have them pick you up here, from here at 545. Okay. Uh, unless that, you want to go really sooner. Enough? It's up to you. It's only it's really just like a few blocks from here. Great. And so um, I figured you can hang out here until then. Yeah, that'd yeah. be wonderful. Okay. 545. I'm 545. having a fabulous time. It's a one hour interview, so hopefully you'll get on five rough or right uh, excuse me, six. Right after six. Well, you, so, know, you know, Randy runs a little long. And it's right, right, right. So and we've done a couple of these. So you got to get it's, these it's timers, full, these flashing yellow lights, and then She's a professional. She knows how to do it. She's doing full-hour interviews, so uh, one it'll hour be good. Live interview? No, no, no. These are this is for a documentary. So oh, just okay. filming, just just filming um, some footage for the, for the documentary. Okay, so just enjoy yourself. I will. Thank you so much.
This has been the highlight of my whole visit, really. Isn't this the most pristine place to just it's, relax? It, it's, that's it. I, I think it's, it's because now the, pres the pressure is like off. Rain. Sydney and Michael and all right, of and the know. pressure's off. I know, I, I, even though I have a TV interview coming up in a few the hours, sun's coming out. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You can just relax.